Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Transformers and Rectifiers India Limited Q4 FY24 conference call hosted by Nuama Wealth Management. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchdown phone. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Shubhadeep Mitra. Thank you and over to you, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon, friends. On behalf of Novama Institutional Equity, welcoming you all to the fourth quarter and full year earnings call of Transformers and Rectifiers and Delimited. At the outset, we would like to thank the management for giving us this opportunity to host the call today. We have with us today the top management represented by the chairman, Mr. Jitendra Mamtora, the managing director, Mr. Satyan Mamtora, and CFO and advisor to the board, Mr. Chanchal Rajora. I would now like to hand over the call to Mr. Satyan Mamtora for his opening comments, followed by the Q&A. Over to you, sir. Thank you and good evening, everyone. We welcome you all to the earnings conference call to discuss the company's performance during the quarter and the full year. We have concluded our board meeting this afternoon have, and have uploaded our financial results as well as an investor presentation on stock exchange. Firstly, I am happy to and proud to that our team has endeavored to conclude the full year audited results within the first week of the financial year. Close and I, will, I would like to thank the relentless efforts on making this possible and we, have, we hope to continue this practice in post-quarter quarters. We are happy with our order book position and the various orders that we have received during the year across the uh, across sectors. Catering to solar power, private sector industries, metro projects, railways, power utilities. Other achievements that we have got this year successfully tested, uh, we have successfully uh, short circuit tested on multiple transformers on various voltage ratings. With this, the company has crossed commendable milestone of uh, successfully dynamic short circuit testing on record 150 plus transformers over the last two decades. Also, the technology of 765 KV class run reactors has also been fully absorbed during this year. The company received the highest order ever order inflow during the year for of about 2,050 crores, including the export orders at of 11%. The unexecuted order book uh, as of March 31st, 2024, totals that 2,582 crores, 72% growth versus financial year uh, to be executed over the uh, over the execution cycle of approximately 15 months. As on 31st March 2024, the company has total inquiries of 17,000 plus crores under negotiation at various stages, including overseas inquiries. This includes all segments of business such as renewable, green energy transformers, power transformers, and furnace transformers. To summarize, during uh, the financial year 2024, we navigated through phases of stabilization, turnaround, and growth, success and growth successfully. And we are now taking steps for the next phase of consolidation, expansion, and profitable growth. We have taken several conscious steps and started implementing our growth strategies and the results of this countrywide initiative, company-wide initiatives are starting to be visible in our performance of from quarter four to FI 24. We are entering financial year 2025 with a growth-oriented mindset to contribute to Indian government's vision for development of India by 2047. The major pillars are capacity expansion being more export focused, becoming fully backward integrated, explore revenues from inorganic growth, achieve operational excellence, and mobilize resources effectively, as well as focus towards systems, system driven processes in positive direction. The strategy is being backed by our niche R&D, niche in R&D, Product development, design, customization, expertise, and manufacturing facility expertise in manufacturing high precision uh, transformers. With this, I conclude my remarks and would like to hand over the call to CFO, Mr. Tenchel. I 
आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल टू एवरीबडी यस सर इट्स ऑडिबल ओके थैंक यू एमडी सर एंड गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन वी वेलकम यू एंड ऑल टू आवर क्वार्टर फोर एंड एनालाइज पोस्ट अर्निंग कॉन्फ्रेंस कॉल आई शेल डिस्कस द एक्सटेंड ऑफ फाइनेंशियल हाईलाइट्स नाउ फर्स्ट आई एलोब्रेट ऑन क्यू फोर रिजल्ट During the Q4 uh, uh, FY24, the revenue from operation was 500 crore rupees, 18 percent growth, uh, 425 crore rupees of Q4 FY23. EBITDA during the quarter was at 65 crore rupees, 112 percent growth from 31 in the same period previous year. EBITDA margin was at 12.9 percent, a sharp 576 BPS increase from 72 in corresponding quarter. Fed during the quarter was at 36 crore rupees, a 306 growth from 9 crore in the same period previous year. Fed margin was 72.2 percent, a sharp 509 BPS increase from 2.1 percent in FY uh, Q4 FY23. Now I come to the FY24 results. During FY24, the revenue from the operation was 1273 crore, uh, 1273 crore, a 7 percent decline from 375 crore in FY23. For For FY24, export revenue was 139 crore, 170 percent, 117 percent increase from 64 crores for previous year. Export contributes 11 percent of our total revenue. EBITDA during the year was 129 crore, which is a 9 percent increase from 118 crore of last year. EBITDA margin was 10 percent for the year, a 155 BPS increase from 8.5 percent of FY23. Fed during the year was 42 crore rupees, a 12 percent growth from 37 crore rupees uh, as compared to the FY23. Fed margin was 3.2 crore, 3.2 percent, 55 BPS increase from 2.7 in FY23. EPS uh, earning per share during the year was at rupees three. In October 23, the company successfully raised rupees 120 crore by way of preferential issues, issuing one crore shares on a priority placement basis. This infusion provides the medium-term capital support to ensure the smooth operations of the organization. Average monthly collections from the customer during H2 FY24 was rupees 144 crore, which indicates the stringent internal control systems are in place. Despite muted H1 FY24, the company has been able to turn around and close the financial year on a positive note. The improvement during the H2 FY24 was largely on account of the faster. Execution of the major orders, better production planning, improved receivables, internal control systems, etc. Declaring the audited financial results within the eight years from the within eight days from the year closing clearly indicates that the company is starting its journey towards being a system-driven organization with the detailed strategic uh, strategies in place. With the orders in hand, the inquiries under the negotiations, we expect the growth journey of the company. Has Has begun, and we expect a tremendous improvements in the company's bottom line in the years to come. With this, I conclude my financial updates, and now request the moderators to open the floor for the question and answer session. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone phone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets only while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Again, if you wish to ask questions, please press star and one. The first question comes from the line of. Siddharth Shah from MK Ventures, please go ahead. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, congratulations on great set of numbers. Uh, we are very pleased to see positive momentum across all parameters. Sir, a couple of strategic questions. Uh, first, if you can just help us understand the demand outlook across segments and especially for the exports market. And uh, you have 17,000 crores of inquiries into negotiation. What kind of conversion can we expect this? Or in a way, what kind of order inflow can we expect in the next uh, year? Hi, Siddharth. How are you doing? Very great, sir. Thank you. Uh, 
See, general, uh, the, if you look at our past record, uh, the conversion is uh, in the line of uh, 15 to 20 percent. So if 17,000 uh, crore of orders are in the pipeline, then uh, anywhere between 15 to 20,000, uh, sorry, 1,500 to 2,000 crore uh, should not be uh, far fetched. You know, we should be able to get that kind of order. Uh, uh, that's uh, one thing. Uh, we are now more focusing on uh, the things which are uh, being ignored by uh, everyone, you know, generally. We want to ensure that uh, once the transformer uh, reaches the site, we have the least thing to do. The failure of the transformer reduces uh, to a great extent so that, you know, over uh, concentration on uh, attending to the, the site uh, uh, complaints reduces. So this is what we are uh, trying to attack uh, to ensure that nothing happens when the transformer reaches the site. Sure, sir. And so from a demand perspective, which are the segments which are doing well and which are the geographies, sir? See, it is everywhere. You know, it's throughout India. It's not only uh, a particular segment, you know. But uh, today, if you see, the main focus is the renewable uh, everywhere. Uh, and renewable is the growth driver now as, uh, the, you know, the, the power generated by the solar or by uh, renewable, you know, it is to be evacuated to the grid and that requires huge number of transformers whether uh, on the smaller ratings or on the larger ratings. So it is everywhere and beside that, uh, steel market is also picking up. So there also we see a lot of uh, uh, movements. Uh, uh, we have started receiving a lot of inquiries from uh, the overseas uh, uh, OEMs for the supply of uh, the large rating of uh, uh, industrial transformers. Beside that, uh, there is uh, the, there are uh, certain inquiries, or we are catering to some of the orders from uh, a multinational company for <laughs> supply of uh, the transformers for the hydrogen, green hydrogen. So these are uh, you know the uh, the, the uh, uh, opportunities which uh, we see uh, in the near future, and it's going to be huge. It's not going to be small. So we are uh, trying also to, you know, to cater to this requirement. Uh, this may not be the, the transformers for the green hydrogen may not be very large, but you know, we are uh, going for automation uh, in those kind of transformers so that uh, the production becomes faster. Because the transformer requirement is going to be huge, whether it is for green hydrogen or for IDT that is for solar. Uh, solar. Sure, sir. That's very helpful. So, the last question from my side is on the on the fundraise which you which the board has approved uh, through QIP or PREF. Uh, sir, how do we intend to use this proceeds of about 500 crores which the board has approved? See, uh, it uh, would be uh, basically inorganic uh, growth and also uh, uh, some expansion that we are planning in the future. And this will be, uh, say, increase in capacity or some backward integration? Or in, in, increase uh, in organic growth and uh, some increase in capacity, and uh, part of it will be backward integration also. Sure, sir. This is helpful. Thank you so much and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ashwani Sharma from MK Global. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, sir. Uh, thanks for the opportunity and uh, congratulations for a great set of numbers. Thank you, Ashwani. Yeah. So my first question is uh, on the, you know, uh, we are at 17,000. Out of this, how much would be, you know, exports, inquiry level? And exports would not go beyond uh, 15% this year. Okay. Because, uh, see, the uh, local demand for our country is also so high that, uh, you know, uh, since this is uh, growing exponentially, exports may not grow beyond 15%. It will not be more than 15% of the total sales. Okay. 
so i was referring to your uh, you know guidance on achieving some 25% uh, you know contribution so that you're talking about fy 26 27 is that yes, right sir. understanding yes yes yes, yes ashwin okay secondly on the uh, you know collections uh, from jetco uh, what is the status over there sir ashwin uh, we have we have got a majority of the uh, outstanding from the jetco and rest money is coming in the line so jetco is not issue to us okay uh now given the obviously we have got very you know uh, inquiry pipeline is robust our order book is also very strong so what is the outlook that you see for fy 25 and 6 in terms of revenue and margins um ashwin that uh, fy 25 26 if you are talking about uh, uh, we are looking for uh, basically whatever our present house order house uh, order book is there first we wanted to deliver that and we wanted to better that uh, in the coming years and as far as the ebitda is concerned ebitda is uh, uh, concerned we we are looking uh, to achieve the numbers what we achieved in uh, q4 perfect sir yeah thank you very much that's all for my thank you a reminder to all the participants if you wish to ask questions you may please press star and 1 now The next question is from the line of Mahesh Bendre from LIC Mutual Funds. Please go ahead. Hi sir, thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, sir, you said 17,000 crores of uh, bids are, I mean, uh, under negotiation. So, uh, uh, I mean, um, Mahesh, can you speak a little louder? It is very feeble. Yeah, am I audible, sir? Yeah, yeah now it is audible. so uh, sir we said that the 17000 crores of bids are under negotiation so these are transmission or distribution side uh, i mean uh, these are power transformers most of them are power transformers sir yes when they for power evacuation uh, to the grid so this will be about the power transformer as well yeah so these will be about 220 kv right 220 kv uh, up to 765 kv from 220 kv up to 765 kv 765 kv okay 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 and so we are um, and uh, on distribution side not we are not very active below 20 uh, 20 uh, 220 kv no so whatever uh, that is uh, currently under negotiation is uh, from 220 kv to 765 kv we are also in negotiations before 132 kv and 66 kv so so what that quantum will be sir for distribution side my my we would not like to discuss what are the numbers and what are the levels of the inquiries are there the 17000 crore rupees inquiries what we are mentioning is all together all kind of the uh, products the majority of them is uh, the power transformer sides uh, and the sir has mentioned that okay 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 and so given uh, such a strong demand um, i mean uh, will our profitability will also go up significantly i mean given so much demand and um, the operating leverage that will play out going forward i think q4 number explains that no i am also not further is there any possibility improvement in that so uh, this would be what what would be uh, around this much only it will stay okay okay sure thank you so much sir thank you the next question is from the line of khadija mantri Capri Global, please go ahead. Hello, uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Yeah. So my uh, first question is: Are we looking at uh, some new industries uh, such as data center uh, for our transformers? Or yeah, we are already supplying transformers to data centers. We are already uh, supplying transformers to data centers. And uh, so, how does that market look to you? in terms of growth in the next 2 to 3 years uh, the market is good and uh, there is a potential for uh, the data center and we are already pioneers in uh, transformers for the data centers okay sir and so one more uh, question from my side i observed that the contribution of uh, uh, revenue from uh, state and central customers have go- gone down from 51% to 31% on yoy basis so uh, is it order specific or it is just the uh, uh, the 
order book uh, is in such a way that we have more contribution coming from industrial transformers or so we are we are deliberately de- de- yeah. sorry yeah, we have deliberately yeah. taken a decision that uh, we would be quoting less to state electricity board and more to epc contractors who are in eventually servicing the uh, state electricity board that helps us our uh, cash flow better so we have taken a co- conscious decision of sub- uh, quoting or uh, quoting less to uh, state electricity electricity board okay sir so you mean uh, what you are saying is that uh, the state and central customer which you combine uh, together now that has come down from 51 to 31% but it is largely because of uh, your less exposure to the state customers yes but that is central true. side central side it has increased because the demand yeah. largely is for the power transformers yes that is true okay okay sir Fine. And sir, sorry, I missed the comments on the reason for the QIP and how it will be utilized. If you can just uh, restate. Ma'am, the company is uh, going towards some uh, uh, backward and forward integration plan and uh, towards the, you uh, know, in- also the inorganic in- growth. So these funds are going to utilize the, for that purpose, and a part of the this uh, will also going to be utilized to reduce the uh, working capital burden of the company. Okay. That got very little. Yeah. Okay. And also the 17,000 crore of inquiry which is under negotiation, it is the domestic market. You do not include the export market. Yes. Includes, includes both. Includes both. Okay. But you would not want to give the share in the export? So we want to do that, but uh, we want to have a, a balancing uh, between the domestic and export market as uh, we have been given a guidance that by FI26, we wanted to have 25% share of the export. So we are slowly, slowly achieving on that target. If you see in this year also, we achieved almost 11% uh, uh, export turnovers. So we're increasing that slowly, slowly. Okay, sir. And the execution cycle is same for the export orders. It is about 15 months? Uh, it depends it depends on the, the uh, basically rating of the transformers. Okay, but on, a, on an average, how, how would it be in export? Yes, it is the same. It is the same. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you so much. I'll come back in the queue. Thank you. Participants, you may press star and one to join the question queue. The next question comes from the line of uh, Mr. Shubhati Mitra from Nuama. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Just reiterating on a couple of points. I think I'm just summarizing what the management's already talked about, but I'm just trying to put it in context. So, Firstly, I think in terms of exports, uh, my understanding is that you're looking at growing the export share to about 15% in the near term, let's say FY25, and going closer towards 20-25% by FY27. Did I hear that correctly? Yes, Subhaji. Perfect. Uh, Secondly, sir, in terms of uh, the current uh, 17,000 crore of enquiries of which let's say 15 to 20% is typically the conversion. So one can look at a range of somewhere between 25 to 3,500,000 crores of order inflow. You are right. It may be a little more also. Perfect. And lastly, with regard to uh, your guidance, you mentioned that your current order book of uh, closer to 2,600 crores is probably what you would be looking at uh, as your revenue for 25. And then a bit down margin of closer to 13%, which is what you delivered in fourth quarter? Uh, so, but if the current order book, what we have is need to be delivered in next 15 months time. Okay. So, so we are trying to uh, achieve that. And a beta margin will remain uh, somewhere between 12.5 to 13% levels. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Mayank Chaturvedi from HSBC Mutual Funds. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi. Thank you. Good, good evening, everyone. So, in this uh, capacity expansion of 12,000 MBA, uh, uh, can you please tell me the total project cost plus uh, what kind of, what trading of transformers will we be producing from this capacity? And when will we start taking orders for this capacity now that the capacity will be operation by December 24? See, this uh, mainly we are looking at uh, the transformers for green hydrogen. 
and uh, four solar parks. So they are not going to be very large transformer. They will be in the tune of 20 MVA or so. <coughs> but uh, it is going to be produced in mass because the number of uh, requirement will be huge, you know, something like uh, the 80 to 100 transformers per month. So we are going for uh, making the plant automate uh, by selecting uh, the machines uh, so that, you know, you, human intervention reduces and uh, the failure rate also reduces. The Mayank, the, uh, uh, this uh, uh, plant expansion is already started and we expect this plant to be ready uh, by the summer. Right. Uh, yes, uh, that I brought. Thank you. And what could be the uh, cost? Topic for this and that we would not like to disclose at this moment. So, and have you take, started taking orders for this capacity or? No, no, no. no. The inquiries are already in place, so hmm. we are negotiating with the uh, people. Okay. And on this uh, QIP procedure, will they go into the cases for this plant as well? Sorry, I could not hear you. I'm saying the QIP procedure will it be utilized for expanding this plant as well? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, sir, thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Kaushal Kedia from Walford PMS. Please go ahead. What is the current order book? Uh, I'm sorry, I missed that. 2,582 crore rupees. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Sampat Naik from Tiger Asset. Please go ahead. Yeah, so congrats for the good set of number. So I just wanted to know as we are doing... Uh, Sampat, your line is not clear. Uh, if you are using the speaker mode, may we request you use the handset mode, please? Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. yeah, so just wanted to know, sir, uh, as we are doing backward integration, so how are we looking at margins going forward? Because without uh, backward integration only, we are doing 13%, I think, kind of margin. So after this uh, CapEx, how are we looking at margins? But uh, we are already on around 40 to 50% of the backward integration. Now we are looking at to expand the backward integration further, and definitely the margin is going to be improved uh, once we are... Uh, uh, fully on the backward integration part. Okay. Uh, currently, we are quoting at uh, 68. Uh, sorry, yeah, 68 percent of raw material, right? I mean, like almost 32 percent raw gross margins. So that like, is not correct. No, no. Uh, our, our basically uh, that's not the correct thing. Our present raw material is around. 72% to 74%. So we do not disclose our yeah. So that is not been there in that. So you can say that our gross margin, you can take it up from the books right now, it's going to be remain same levels. Okay, sir. Just wanted to understand, like, whatever the new orders are coming, what, like, at what gross margins they are quoted at. Sorry, what? Whatever the new orders are coming, at what gross margins they are being quoted? We do not disclose it. There will be good, good profitable orders. Thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ashna uh, Manaktala from HDFC Asset Management Company. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi. Uh, good afternoon, sir. But I wanted to understand how is the supply trend in the high voltage transformers? So we were reading that the uh, waiting time has gone up to 24 months as there is a tight supply. So how is that going to look uh, for in the coming quarters for the industry? See, we are, uh, first of all, uh, it's very difficult to increase uh, the, <clears throat> the capacity just like that. So what we are doing is we are uh, uh, just putting our efforts uh, to reduce the cycle time which we have done, uh, uh, we have successfully done it, reducing the cycle time from 55 days to 40 days. So we are further trying to reduce it to 
32 days, 35 days. If that happens, you know, the capacity will increase and we'll be in a better position to offer transformer much uh, in time. And so this decline would happen over uh, what uh, time period is to what you did? It is, it is a continuous process. We have started doing it. Okay. And sir, how is the situation on the low voltage side for the industry? Low voltage side, see, they are, those are, uh, you know, kind of uh, off the self kind of a thing. So uh, it's not long term planning. Uh, as and when it comes, it comes. So solar, when it comes, it comes, and then, you know, the projects last for about a year or so, so it goes on, the supply goes on uh, till uh, the project is completed. So they are not, uh, I mean, uh, planned uh, uh, well in advance, you know, like uh, what they do in power transformers, because the delivery time is very short. Okay, but for the industry, the supply is uh, very well, uh, uh, there's no tight supply in terms of low voltage, is it? Or, uh... See, uh, what happens is there are a number of suppliers, but you know, it is the question of uh, the uh, the quality of the transformers, which people are now focusing more, because if uh, any outage is there, when the transformers are supplied, you know, the whole project uh, is... Uh, <clears throat> not working. So, you know, it is always, the customer always prefer to go for uh, the more reliable transformer, maybe paying a little higher. Okay, sir. Understood. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Srinidhi from HSBC. Please go ahead. Hi, thank you for the opportunity and congratulations on good set of numbers. So, would it be possible to compare and contrast uh, profitability as well as payment terms between your industrial set of business as well as utility set of customers? Um, uh, sorry, um, Sridhi, uh, the uh, if you come, if you were saying about the utilities, utilities has got a fixed number of payment terms which is generally which ranges between 60 to 45 days to uh, 60 days from the date of the transformer delivers. And when it comes to the industrial and EPCs, basically the payment terms are much better than the the utility terms. Right. And how are they on margin, sir? The margin will remain, will remain the same, approximately the same. Right. And would it be a, a compare similar business for export versus domestic, sir? Uh, uh, export we have uh, we have uh, uh, export we have a uh, slightly better payment terms as well as the margin also. Right. And since the order backlog that you have about 2,600 crores, uh, uh, how is it split between uh, fixed price contract and uh, price variation uh, 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 contract? Basically, the majority of. Uh, uh, the orders are on the uh, price, vari price variable clause. Right. Yeah. And last, if I may, sir, uh, so the order pipeline, which looks very strong at about 17,000 crore, would it be possible to share what was this number a year ago? Uh, right now, we don't have that number in place. Okay. No problem, sir. Thank you for answering my question and all the very best. Thank you. A reminder to all the participants, uh, please limit your questions to two per participant. If you have any follow-up questions, you may please rejoin the queue. The next question is from the line of Nilesh Doshi from Green Lantern Capital. Please go ahead. Hi, Satyan and Chanchal. Uh, really Good evening, Nilesh Bhai. Yeah, congratulations for moving in the right direction, both on the revenue and the margin front. Just mm -hmm. one question uh, I have is that uh, uh, what are we doing in terms of uh, R&D and new product development, especially I'm sure there may be a lot of import substitution products in our country, uh, and we may be dependent largely on the uh, imports, uh, maybe some components for transformers or any new products which we can go into. We are working on that. 
तुम्ही ज्या व्यक्तीशी बोलत आहात त्याने तुमच्या कॉलला होल्डवर ठेवला आहे कृपया लाईनवरच हॅलो येस निरज सो व्हॉट एव्हर बी बॅकवर्ड इंटिग्रेशन दॅट वी आर डुईंग वी आर वर्किंग ऑन मेनी प्रोजेक्ट दॅट इम्पोर्ट सबस्टिट्यूट दॅट वी सबस्टिट्यूट द इम्पोर्ट दॅट वी डू फॉर क्लोज सत्यन एनी आयडिया वेन वी शुड बी रेडी अँड गेटिंग आय मीन वी शुड बी फुल्ली बॅकवर्ड इंटिग्रेटेड Uh, we should be fully backward integrated by december of 2025 uh, yeah okay and we'll how much that can help us in terms of uh, margin any any kind of uh, i mean calculation or work we have done on that nilesh ma it 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 will better uh, our margins uh, from the present uh, present levels okay. but the calculations and all uh, once we'll meet i'll tell you sir sure sir thank you thank thank you, you. Yes, visit is still pending, no? Yeah, yeah, we'll come. Uh, sure. Please, please do. Yeah. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Parthiv Dalal from Antique Stock Broking. Please go ahead. Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm sorry, Ji. Good afternoon, Chancel Ji. Good afternoon, Parthiv Dalal. Yes, yes. Sir, could you spend some time on your working capital scenario? I understand there is... movement but uh, we just spend some time on how you see it planning out going forward given higher scale of business patel if you uh, if you see on my present uh, uh, presentation and present balance sheet my working working capital cycle is been has improved uh, uh, drastically and uh, uh, we are we are actually further strengthening that If you see on my creditor side, my creditors have gone down uh, drastically, as well as my debtors are going down, and we are working on the directions where we can further strengthen this working capital cycle. Right? If uh, the if you presently when you see the numbers, you may find it little high, but please understand that from our debtor side, the majority of the debtors which are right now on the uh, uh, receivables has been built very very recently, so they are not even uh, uh, basically uh, uh, due. and uh, if if you if you heard my speech that now every every month we are collecting more than 125 to 130 crore rupees that is itself is strengthening my uh, working capital uh, cycle even if you see the short term borrowings my short term borrowings has gone down drastically as well as my long term borrowings have gone down drastically so these are the indicators that my my working capital is strengthening day by day got it Okay so that's all for my side. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Surbhi Saraugi from Smiths Capital Markets. Please go ahead. Uh no my uh, questions have been answered. Thank you. Thank you Surbhi. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Mehul Mehta from Nuwama. Please go ahead. Good evening team. Audible? Yeah, yeah 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 thanks for the opportunity my question is with respect to green energy power grid what would be in our order book like you know green transformers order book uh, share of uh, this green transformer green energy transformer it is uh, when you say green energy it's uh, uh, i don't know you know uh, uh, what what people mean by green energy <clears throat> any transformers uh, which are used to evacuate power from the solar power to the grid are called green so most of these uh, uh, orders you know which we have received from uh, power grid are meant mostly for those things so it is we can say that you know 60 70% of the transformers are for the green energy directly indirectly Okay, so in terms of like you know whatever is our order book uh, say about 2,600 crores approximately, out of which like in terms of transformers, can you bifurcate between say conventional energy and green energy? Is that possible? Say about 50-50. 50-50. Okay. 
Okay, and in this, like you know, what sort of TNB system spent entirely, like you know, market, like you know, out of which transformers would be, like you know, what, like you know, is that possible to share? Sorry, out of the entire TNB system, transmission and distribution system, what would be say transformers, like you know, share kind of, like you know, if I want to understand entire TNB system and uh, that size, and out of which, what would be share of uh, power transformers or? Sort of like you know power and distribution transformers because we basically category get a I mean address like you know power transformers if I understand correctly. Hey, well, yeah. Hey, well, Subhadeep is the right person to uh, give you the answer of that question. Very oh, recently okay. he has done a detailed study on the trail and power industry. Yes, so he yes has, I've gone uh, through that. Right, he I've has, gone through he that. He has the questions. So he has the right answers of your questions. Okay, I'll question him. Just last question is that in terms of like you know say growth over next five years in terms of like in transformer market, any numbers you would like to share industry growth? We only want to take the baby steps and reach to the five years down the line. At present, we are focused for next two years, and after that, so we annually, see like you know, so in annually, like you know, say for next two years, what would you anti? Annually, uh, I mean, annually, if you annually, if you see that uh, market research. Uh, uh, a uh, report is that that indian uh, transformer market is increasing by around 14% uh, cgr levels so that should be we should take as about volume growth right because yes. realization always like you know keeps on changing in this yeah. so 14% volume growth. thank you so yeah. much and that thank you thank you thank you the next question is from the line of rishi kothari from five square investments please yeah. go ahead uh, congratulations, uh, sir, for the great set of numbers. And I would also like to congratulate the EY team uh, for uh, such a nice presentation here. Uh, sir, I wanted to first ask, uh, what would be your utilization level at the current 36,000, 37,000 uh, MBA capacity which we currently have? Rishi, we are right now uh, operating at around 60 to 65% levels. Okay. And sir, uh, by next year, uh, by December 24, uh, we are expecting another 12,000 MBA capex, uh, when, uh, and we will slowly ramp up that capacity. So, do we expect that to reach the peak uh, by FY26, sir? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. Uh, all the best for the uh, coming financial year. Thanks. Thanks, Rishi. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Prati Kothari from Unique EMS. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, good afternoon. Uh, sir, in one of the comments you mentioned that it's tough putting up a new capacity. Did you talk about what are those bottlenecks or challenges? Sorry, we didn't get your question. Uh, sir, in one of the replies you mentioned that uh, it, it's tough putting up a new capacity and hence you're working on operational efficiency. So. Uh, just if you can highlight what are those bottlenecks that you are facing now in terms of when it comes to putting up new capacity. We aren't facing any bottleneck about the new capacities. It, it is just, uh, you know, c c continuous improvement in terms of production that we are looking at. So it is a continuous process. There are no bottlenecks. But how do we improve on whatever we are doing today? How do we improve that tomorrow? And how do we improve it on day after tomorrow? So it is a continuous improvement improvement process that we are working on. No, correct, because uh, uh, so maybe in the last cycle, 10 years back, I mean, a lot of new capacity came up very quickly and that kind of disrupted the market. So, if you can talk about, are you seeing, uh, given the demand that all of us are seeing, do you see uh, I mean, new capacity coming very quickly? Uh, the uh, new capacity which came up was uh, in the transformer range of 220 kV and above, below. There was no capacities which came up 220 kV and above. See, if you just see 400 kV and 765 kV transformers, there are not many players today. Even today, there are not many players. You can count them, five, six players. They sold not more than that. So, you know, putting up a capacity for a higher rating of transformer EHV, you know, what we call is extra high voltage transformer, it's not that easy, you know, it's, it's uh, complicated also and then it requires a lot of uh, 
persons to build those kind of transformers. Uh, it's not only the design which makes the difference, you know, it's the, the total, uh, the uh, art of production. So that makes a difference when you talk about uh, large rating of transformers. Similarly is the case with the HVDC transformers. You see, there are a lot of transformer manufacturers even in the world for uh, 400 kV and 765 kV, but HVDC transformer not many. And there are, you can count them on the fingertips. So these are uh, the uh, really the, the state of the art kind of uh, uh, the production which requires a lot of skill and trained manpower, which is difficult to get. You can get money, but where do you get the skilled manpower? That's the main thing. Thank you and all the best, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, in the interest of time, in order to ensure that the management is able to address questions from all participants in the conference, please restrict your questions to one per participant. If you have follow-up questions, please rejoin the queue. The next follow-up question is from the line of Ashwani Sharma from MK Global. Please go ahead. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity again. So I wanted uh, your views on uh, opportunities in the railway, uh, especially, you know, squad transformers, uh, you read in one of your transcript. If you can give us some sense, uh, you know, opportunities over there. See, with all this dedicated freight uh, corridor that is coming up, and the high-speed trains of Vande Bharat, and the speed of train uh, constantly increasing, uh, uh, squad connected and V-connected transformers are going to be a huge requirement in the coming years. And we have started seeing the inquiries flow uh, at a very fast pace to us also. So uh, this is going to be one of the, uh, you know, Again, a big sector that is going to come uh, in the near future. So we have uh, the product portfolio as far as the railway is concerned. Is there a yeah, uh, uh, gap? We, we, are, we have the product por portfolio for the squad connected. And the, we are RDSO approved. The squad connected and we connected transformers, we are uh, getting short circuit tested by end of May. So then our product uh, will be... Uh, you know, uh, considered regular then. Yeah. So we have got some uh, some orders for squad connected and reconnected transformers, and uh, we have to give uh, provide short circuit test for them. Okay, so in our order book, how much would be there? Any any sense? Uh, very small, about se seven to eight transformers, not beyond that right now. So about two to three percent. Okay. So secondly, if I look at the contribution, you know, product-wise contribution or order book, uh, the contribution of reactors are, you know, increasing, you know, year on year. What explains that, sir? This is power gate, uh, power gate supply. It's mainly the power gate supply. Yes. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Dhruv Agarwal from Niveshai. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm audible. Yes. Yeah, yes, you are audible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good evening, sir. So, congratulations on the very good set of numbers, sir. So, in the last con call, you said that you are expecting, uh, you are ex uh, like executing orders which are having low ma gross margins of around 24 to 25%. For the new orders, the company has already quoting the prices considering the gross margins of 32 to 33%, which was reflected in the quarter 4 itself. So, is it fair to assume that the low margin order is fully executed, sir, right now? No, it's not uh, uh, that, Drew. It's not that. It is the mix of those things uh, uh, we are right. We are going to deliver. Uh, so, sir, can you please quantify what would be the low margin order book stand at as of now from the total order book? I cannot, book? And I cannot, when... I, I cannot disclose that at the moment. Okay. Uh, okay, sir. And... Yes, like sir, you said that there is uh, 2600 crores of unexecuted order book will, which will be executed in 15 months time period. So, sir, for the financial year 25, the revenue looks like around 2000 to 2100 crores. Is my understanding correct, sir? 
we 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 are we will try to achieve if possible uh, okay uh, okay and then like currently you are cur- capitalization of 60% so going ahead seeing the demand that we are uh, currently has in the environment so what would be the capacity utilization going forward in the financial year 25 26 sir do for any manufacturing do for any manufacturing industry the peak capacity utilization is 85% right sir so are we uh, like going to increase the capacity utilization sir in the coming year definitely if we have to deliver we have to increase that okay uh this one last question sir like in the next uh, financial year what would be the borrowing levels would be sir like is there is there any plan to reduce further sir or it would it would be in the same level sir we are, we are we are trying to reduce the borrowings okay and this one more question related to that only sir uh, like in terms of working capital cycle you said that your target is to have 120 days uh, working capital cycle so what is the what is like how are we for, going forward in that sir there is a retail strategy in place for that and we are working on that direction please so what would be the current working capital cycle sir you can I you can uh, you can please go through on our uh, uh, financial numbers uh, which we uploaded on the market you will get the detail about us okay okay thank you thank you The next question is from the line of Pinkesh Asrani from Profit Gate. Please go ahead. Yeah, I hope I am audible. Uh, the board has, uh, like I heard, the board has approved the uh, YC round of. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, just uh, I. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. You're not audible. Please, can you repeat yourself? Uh, your voice is sounding very much muffled. So could you use the handset mode in case if you are using the speaker mode, please? yeah uh, i i think i am audible right now uh, yeah. uh i just wanted to uh, just uh, i missed the point of qip round that uh, that qip round is for 500 crores am i right um yes okay so uh, by what time it would get completed like any deadline any timeline from, from the board it is soon uh, can you give some specific number where the specific period I think because uh, by end of first quarter it should be completed. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you. Best of luck with my mark. Thank you. Okay. The next question is from the line of Kush Nahar from Electrum TMS. Please go ahead. Yeah. Hi, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. So I just wanted to know what would be our R and D expenses for uh, FY24 and FY23. Uh, Kush, uh, this is the one thing which we don't want to disclose uh, in uh, this forum. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Sampath Naik from Tiger okay. Asset. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi sir. Thank you. Uh, so ju- you just said that we are RDSO approved for Indian Railways. Just want you to understand how difficult is. is it for anyone to get rdso approved and are there are there any other players who are already rdso rdso approved yeah there, there are so many company is one of them uh, bbl is one of them uh, we are and it took us almost about one and a half year to get the first order from rdso this goes way back into 2011 12 so you know uh, it is difficult to get rdso approved you need to uh, meet uh, certain three requisites first to, to uh, become a, a certified rdso supplier so what other companies you said sir i just missed that Bhar- bharat bijli cg bhcl abb okay sir okay thank you so much all the best bharat bijli Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we would take that as our last question for today. I would now like to hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. Thank you all for being part of our earnings conference call and for actively participating in the call. We appreciate your support and trust in us and we hope we have a 
we have been able to address most of your queries. In case any further queries, you may reach out to our investor relation advisor, Ernst and Young, and they will connect you with, with you offline. Thank you, Vijay Vashin from Nuwama for hosting, hosting our call. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of Nuwama Wealth Management, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us. You may now disconnect your lines.